Okay, we're now ready to attack goal number four, which is attaching the string to the extension arm and testing the mousetrap to see how well it goes, the mousetrap car, how well it goes. So the first thing you want to do is bring the car up to the teacher and we will cut a string for you. Generally what we'll do is we'll cut it longer than the extension arm to the rear of the car plus a fist on either side. So we measure the string out, okay, fits over the car, we have excess in the front, excess in the back, and then we cut the string. So we're going to cut the string, and we'll give it back to you then. Uh, you can take the car back to your uh, seat and verify that it's the correct length. You're going to start off by gluing the string to the front of the extension arms. So we're going to put a, we're going to have tape ready for us. Piece of tape is ready to go. You need a piece of tape that's about an inch and a half long. You have your string ready. And all we're going to do is we're going to put a touch of glue here at the very end. We're going to put our string into that glue. Careful not to touch the glue. And then we're going to add a piece of tape over top to pinch it. We're going to wrap it the whole way around. Okay. We are then going to wrap the string over under the bottom of this extension arm. So now it goes up underneath the extension arm. We'll need one more piece of tape. So we wrap it under the extension arm. See how it goes under. Piece of tape now goes underneath, locks the tape, the string in place. And we bring the string up and over the front of the extension arm and down the extent the car. And we finish glue, we finish it taping it into place. So that is how we glue in the string and attach the string to the extension arm. Now we're gonna to go to the back of the car. Okay? And this is where the most problems come with this car, with this project. We're gonna wrap the string twice around. We do not tie the string. If you remember earlier discussions, we have the yo-yo effect. We do not want the string to be attached. So we just wrap it twice around and we have the excess coming off the back end. We then take our scissors, we trim the string after we've wrapped it twice around. So the string is going down from the front of the car all the way down past just to the back end of the car. I'm going to take the string. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it. Now I'm left with this fray on the end of the string. So I want to get rid of that fray. I'm going to come back up to the glue station. I'm going to take the tip of my glue gun and I'm going to hold it into the hot glue. I'm not squeezing the trigger. I'm then taking the string, placing it between the tip and the hot glue, and I'm just pulling on it slightly through the tip here so that I'm getting glue on the end. Now. Some of you might know what this is called. It's the end of a shoestring. And a popular kids TV show, Phineas and Ferb, made this term popular. It's called the aglet. So now we have it that this will not fray. So now we're ready to move on to, we wanna let this cool, and then we can move on to testing our car.